Hey guys, the Not So Smartphone here, and uh, today I'm going to run the Antutu benchmark on my Galaxy S1 uh, GT i9000 running Jelly Bean. So I rooted it, I, um, I installed Jelly Bean. As you can see, this is my previous score. So, not so good. And uh, this is one of my devices that I'm going to be doing uh, the Antutu test. And this is just for comparison. I uh, highly doubt that anybody's going to buy this device right now, but um, later on I'm going to show you some uh, better devices that I that I um I'm going to get my hands on, and then I'm going to show you how good they really are, you know, in comparison to other phones. I'm going to go ahead and start the test. As you can see, even the test takes a while because his phone is fucking old. You know, just grab yourself a snack or anything. Man. So, um, it starts out by uh, testing your CPU and your RAM speed. Which this phone has 512 megabytes of RAM. Oops. It's out of focus there. There we go. 512 megabytes of RAM. This um, CPU was initially clocked at um, 0 0.7 gigahertz, but I've overclocked it um, to 1 gigahertz at all times. As you can see right here, this little blue icon, whenever I tap on it, I tap on it to clear memory. So I've cleared my memory. I have overclocked my CPU. And um, if you have a Galaxy GTI 9000, I know it's very common. A lot of people um, root it and then uh, upgrade it to Jelly Bean. I recommend it, but I also don't because, as you can see, it, you can run Jelly Bean and you're not going to be like years and years behind everybody else. But um, also, you're about to see why I, I do not recommend it. As you can see, clear. It's not so bad. A minor little bit of lag. As we get into this, you can see some major lag in the graphics. Another thing about overclocking your CPU is it can slowly make your CPU die out very slowly. So gradually, after a little bit, your CPU will start to get slower and slower, and at some point, it'll honestly just give up. So as you can see, 45 frames a second so far. So good. But as we continue to go, you can see a slight lag there. And finally, this is the most CPU heavy Antutu test. In graphics heavy, as you can see here, 26,000 triangles, frames per second 6, 5.35. So as you can see, not too good of a performance. So yeah, this takes a while, but as you can see up here, what it says, it says Antutu Open GLS. 2.0 benchmark. GLES, sorry. There you go. We finished the graphics portion. Now it's testing the SD card write speed. And 87% done. I don't know if you can see that. But let me try zooming and focusing. There we go. 87% done, testing the SD card rich. I mean, this test takes a while on this phone, man. This phone sucks ass. Oh my gosh. Alright, so it's at 93%. Let's zoom out here. Focus this bitch. It's good. Alright, so as you can see, it takes about... 16 hours to do this simple test on this um, <clears throat> Samsung GTI 9000 and here's my best score so far actually 4136 and uh, I'll be posting some more videos about what these scores mean and, and what's a good score but just, just for reference sake you can see not a very good score 